Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another rebuilding video on today's episode. Let's take a look at a futuristic style library. Without further ado, let's cue that intro. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Thursday and it's that time again. Let's go for a room build and let's stick with probably one of my favorite genres, the futuristic style one. So I'm thinking something a bit weird, maybe a touch outside the old box. Um, so let's go with something a bit freaky. Um, well, if anything's going to fall into that category, this should. Uh, let's do something. Now that is one really weird shape. And it's not even. Well, that's just going to pee me off for the rest of the day. Let's correct that for starters. Although I'm not really 100% sure how to correct it. Because um, it kind of... I broke it. I broke it. That's not going to fly. Let's try that again. This time without the breaking. I hate myself that I've just had to do that. Right then. That is a weird shape. And I like it. So, let's start off and a bit of a rare occurrence. The last few of my builds have been basically miners' holes, essentially, because they've been basement builds. So I'm quite looking forward to actually building a room with, you know, doors and windows for a change, rather than just stairs. Which I'm kind of finding, you know, cool is in the sense of, you know, it's nice not to have to worry about windows for a change, but I kind of miss them. Uh, when I'm doing these builds because it's a whole element of rambling I don't get to do and you know as much as I think I could ramble about you know windows in a basement even I think I have to draw the line somewhere because there's only so long you can look at dirt and there's a sentence I didn't quite expect I would say on this channel today but nonetheless uh, let's pop that in there and let's change the color of that to black and there we go. So we've got a nice set of windows going on. Nice doorway here as well. Um, so that's looking good. I'm thinking let's do these walls a bit on the old weird side. Because I kind of like doing strange things at the moment. I've been, a, I've been in a bit of a strange mood lately. Um, maybe it could have been from the time away from YouTube for a couple of days. Um, not that it was intentional or planned time away from YouTube. It was actually time I didn't want away from YouTube. Because I... Like, I don't know about you guys when you guys do work or, or school work or anything like that but I find I get myself in a bit of a rhythm or a bit of a flow and kind of get myself sort of you know quite used to how things work and I, I quite like a schedule hence why I try and do regular uploads and you know it really actually grates on me a little bit when I can't stick to it and this was no exception so you know during my thinking um, while I was away from YouTube, I was thinking about what could I do that would be a bit more sort of, you know, exciting. And this is kind of what I came up with, some weirder type rooms, some weird type things and, and talking and windows and strange styles. And yeah, I basically had a bit of time to think. I had a lot of time on my hands, basically. So I kind of like accent walls. Accent walls are something I have decided that I really like. I'm not sure why. Um, it's just a new style thing, well it's not new, I know the style itself has been around for a little while, but it's just a new thing that I'm quite enjoying. So let's talk about some of the things enabled on this particular build. Um, so things I've got enabled cheat wise. So let's start off at the beginning. We have unlock gameplay entitlement that unlocks every single item within the game. We have the BB.move objects cheat to basically allow me to place anything wherever I want it with no hindrance of their shape or style. Thank you to that person who just downloaded that modern study. And also finally, a little sidetrack there. Um, finally, the other one we have is uh, show hidden objects to allow me to see the debug menu. And there is one major reason for that. And that is because I have basically been geeking out over a set of pictures and artwork in this game now. And um, I already liked a lot of the artwork in the game, but these planetary ones have basically been all I've been thinking about since, when did I release the last video? Tuesday, Tuesday, I knew that. I don't even know why I have to think about that. Tuesday is room build day. Anyway, since thinking about that, I've just been thinking about these pictures and how much I love them. So yeah, kind of wanted to put them in. Uh, I've just realized I didn't do the outside of this build. So there we go. Also, can't believe the last why I always paint the outside of the build. I just think it looks nicer that way. You know, just visually pleasing while I'm doing the video because at the end of the day, 
I find it looks a bit awkward if, if I just have the, uh, well, uh, this is the drywall look. I just think it, you know, ruins some of the effects, so I I paint over it. Um, no real reason. Uh, just, well, that is the real reason. Uh, so, 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 lights, lights. We haven't actually put any in here, so probably should get on that particular bandwagon. Uh, light, hanging lights. Let's use, okay, we're going to go for proper weird lights here. So, let's go with... Do these come in a plain colour? They do. Now they are proper weird lights and they will fit in just perfectly. So that's looking very nice there. Okay, so that's all looking good. Um, so, let's start off in this corner. Now the qu oh, we could... Let's put more of those pictures up, actually. I've just had a thought. I think there's more spacey pictures. We could get a proper space. Well, this is future, so that actually fits the thing. Let's go to decorations. Let's grab some more space-like pictures. Um, what else is in here? Uh, let's drag out all the pictures I can see to do with space and the epicness of it. Quick scrolling, quick scrolling, quick scrolling. Uh, that looks kind of spacey. Uh, that looks spacey. I'm pretty sure I've used that, though. Uh, that's spacey, that's spacey, as you can see, move, oh, that one I already got, uh, that one I didn't get, that's spacey, uh, what else do we have, what else is in here, uh, that is also kind of spacey, uh, although I'm not actually going to use that one, uh, not for any particular prejudice, I just don't really feel like using that one at the moment, um, that one has been used on that side along with that one, and also that one was used, let's get surfacing there, and I'm missing one. There is the one that has the planet and the moon looking over it. It looks really nice and I want that picture because then I can get a planetary set going on which would be a nice, nice touch. Um, I just need to find the picture I'm talking about. That's the one. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. So I am thinking if I get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. I'm going to use this with these. So let's put that one up there, let's put that one in the middle there, and let's pop that one there. There we go. So a nice little spacey thing going on here, and I actually quite like that. And what I'm going to do is let's put a desk below each one. I'm going to kind of do a mirror image on this one, I think. Sort of, kind of reflective, but I'm going to do a couple of subtle changes, I think. But let's start off with the desk. The desk is a key component here. Um, without it, the computer would just be sitting on the floor, and that would look ridiculous. And uh, that's not what's happening on this build. Let's pop that in there. Let's get some chairs. Uh, there is the futuristic open style back chairs. These ones in black. And these can go there. Let's get the rugs. And let's use the futuristic rugs. These ones in white. And let's pop that one there. And let's pop this one here. So as you can see, nice sort of mirror images going on here. Let's get the futuristic computer with like the greeny style keyboard you can get. Uh, is that the one? No, that's not it. Which one is it? Is it this one? Does this come in green? I know one of these does. I'm pretty sure it's not that one. Might be that one. Yeah, I think it's that one. That's kind of futuristic though, so we'll go with it. We like that one. And let's get the futuristic plant stony things, um, which I did not describe very well. It's a stone with little flowers sticking out of it. That's the one. And let's get that in some freaky colours, because, you know, freaky colours make all for the more fun. Uh, let's get that one as well, because I like that one. That has got to be one of my favourite ones. I don't know why, I just like that one. Okay, so that's looking good there. So, that's a good start. We're liking how this is looking. Uh, I'm thinking a plant in the corner here. Something different on each side. We're going to get a bit of variety. Probably pop that one in. And let's get... Um... Oh, I'll tell you what would fit in here. Yes, yes, it's all coming clear now. Uh, I'm not sure what's coming clear, but I'm going to get the hedge thing you have to cut. That's going to be in creativity, and we're going to pop that in there. There you go. Uh, let's also change that so it's actually facing the right direction for a change. So, that's all looking good there. Uh, let us go round here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put some bookcases in. Bookcases in this side, and we're going to use a variety of bookcases, because I might actually use more than just a few for this. But it is a library after all, so, you know, it's allowed. Okay, let's grab the Enigma, my favourite bookcase in the game. Um, probably accompanied very closely by the Hovercraft mini frame, because I actually kind of like these ones. 
In case you couldn't tell, I genuinely like a very modern style or a modern theme, and you know, I kind of try and stick that through all my Sim stuff where I can. Well, I say all my Sims, a lot of my Sim stuff uh, gets a lot of modern style treatment because I just genuinely like the way uh, all this sort of looks and fits together. Uh, let's grab the Enigma a bit more. Let's pop that in the window on either side. So that's looking good there. Uh, let's come around here and we're going to get the hanging wall enigma, um, which is called something you don't. Intellectual illusion wall mounted bookshelf, or the wall enigma, as uh, it will now be known on the channel. Uh, well, I'm going to say it will now be known as that, but it's going to be known as that probably for the next um, however long this episode lasts, really, and then I'll forget about it and change the name to something else. Because that's how my mind works. Honestly, retention of a sieve. People wondering what that expression means. Um, there's also probably plenty of people that understand exactly what that expression means, and you know, no harm if you don't. No harm if you do. Only harm to me. Well, not even harm, because I've forgotten about it already. I don't even know what I'm rambling about. Chairs in the side that I can't turn. That was because I was pressing the M. That would be why. Um, okay, so I'm thinking. I am thinking, which is dangerous, that's always a worry, you should never let me think, because when I have think, ideas happen, and when ideas happen, God only knows what will get placed. Last time it was a purple kitchen, so let's hope that that doesn't reoccur itself. Let's pop that down there, uh, not down there, let's pop it down there instead, because then it's centred. And then what I'm going to do is pop a table in the middle, and let's go with this table with the light edges, like that, and let's get a nice chair. Um, these perspective style chairs all the way around here and that is nicely under the light which is good and let's pop in the center let's get some kind of not that not that at all that's not even close to what I was going to put in the center uh, let's pop in the center something nice some kind of good centerpiece whatever that may be it might have to be a plant of some kind Unless, do these stones, that's a nice purple stone, that's a splash of colour there. I wonder, can I, will these stack? I could always do my own little effect, or I can just put, no, I, I, I think I could probably design something, but, you know, I'm probably not, that would probably actually be quite cool. That's a bit too big. Uh, is that a small one? That's not bad. You know what? I might live life on the edge and pop that in the middle. Is that smaller? That's smaller. There we go. That's a nice touch. Does it come in a different colour? It does not. I'm not bothered. I actually quite like that. That makes for a nice centrepiece in the middle of the table. Okay. Anything else I feel like adding? Um, let's have a bit of a look and see what do we have here. Um, I'm thinking that no I'm pretty happy with this so ladies and gentlemen if you have liked this video why not give this video a thumbs up and consider getting subscribed also things in the description you should really be checking out links to all my other playlists all my other content tons of really cool things you should be checking out also there is a link to the gallery page where you can download this and every single other video I produce will have a link to the download for it but if you're feeling particularly lazy or particularly cheeky and just want to watch another video, give you those two icons on the top of your screen a cheeky click to be taken to one of my other playlists. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next video.